Hey, what's up guys? Ian from iHelpCorner.com and in this video I'm going to show you how to jailbreak any iDevice running anywhere from iOS 6 all the way to 6.1. This is an untethered jailbreak meaning you do not need to connect your device to a computer every time you turn it off. This is the best jailbreak you can get right now and it works on all the iDevices like I said that includes the iPhone 3GS, iPhone 4, 4S and 5, all the iPod touches, the iPad mini and the iPad 2, 3 and 4. So what you need to do is download the file that you use see at my website look at the video description below so say this is the video underneath is the description click show more and you'll go to my website all the download links are there for you for free just check it out and you can download these files so on the Mac it's a little different compared to the Windows but anyways the basic thing is once you get the file downloaded on the Mac it's gonna look like this it's a DMG file once you click on it you're gonna see all these three things you just need this middle one right here just click on it twice and then it's gonna ask you if you want to open it just click open on Windows it won't ask you that but uh, that's besides the fact. So once you open that and this comes up, you see this program. Simply connect your device to your computer. I already have mine connected. And then just set it aside. I'll leave mine right here so you can see what's happening throughout the jailbreak. Anyways, once you have it connected, you're going to be able to click this jailbreak button. So just click it and let it jailbreak. This jailbreak does take a while. As you can tell, I tried this on my iPhone 5 and it's still jailbreaking. So it's been about 10 minutes. I'm doing a rerun because I was kind of making stuff along as I went on this video. So this video is going to be much more improved than the last take I had. Anyways, once you have it running, this step takes about 10 minutes. So don't worry, your no, iDevice is going to do its thing. It's going to reset on its own. I'll be back once everything is done and show you what to do for the next step. All right, you'll notice that your device will reboot through this jailbreak break that's okay and if you have a passcode make sure to enter your passcode when you plug it into your computer it'll probably tell you that up here somewhere so if you do have a passcode make sure you need to unlock your device to do this every time it reboots pay attention to your device throughout this jailbreak so you don't mess anything up because it's just gonna slow down if you don't insert your passcode and you have one if you don't have a passcode on any of your iDevices then don't worry just set your iDevice aside and let it do its thing all right right now as you can tell it'll tell you what it's doing let me zoom in for you at the top it says what, uh, what step it's on, so right now it's probably installing the Cydia and all that and uh, uploading the sources to it. So just give it a minute. For most of you this has been the first untethered jailbreak in a really long time. So if you remember Cydia, whenever you needed to download an app from Cydia you had to insert a source uh, if you wanted an app from a different company like a different developer. So that's probably what it's uploading. For most of us it's been quite some time since a jailbreak. For me it's been like seven months since I'm not a fan of tethered jailbreaks and that's why I don't make tethered jailbreak videos. All right, right here it'll say to continue. Please unlock your device and tap the jailbreak icon. So what you're gonna do is simply slide to unlock, and then go to the last home screen of your device, and you'll see this little jailbreak app. I'm sorry that it's out of focus. Anyways, just tap on that, and it'll close immediately. Don't worry, that's completely normal. It didn't crash. Once you do that, this will say injecting remount payload. So just give it a few more minutes. It's gonna do its thing, and it does take a little bit longer after this next step. So don't worry, your device isn't stuck. As you can tell my iPhone is still jailbreaking. I'll be back once everything is done and I'll show you what to do from there. All right, my iPod Touch finally uh, turned back on and it reset itself. So now it says jailbreak is complete. The device may restart a few times as it completes the process. So as you can tell, my iPhone is right here. Right now I took it out of its case, but remember throughout this video how I was showing you that mine says that offset message? Don't worry, mine took so far it's taken about 20 minutes because right before I was recording this jailbreak video, I had another video I was recording with my iPhone 5 and it took a really long time. And since that was my first time jailbreaking it, I didn't really know how long each step took, which is why I'm redoing it with this iPod Touch. And this is the video I'm going to be uploading. So anyways, don't panic. See, if you slide to unlock, you're going to see Cydia on this one sometimes. See, this was completely instant. But my iPhone 5 and my iPad mini when I jailbroke them, same thing. It just took a really long time. A lot of people are also complaining about this issue. I got some emails this morning about a couple minutes ago and they're saying that it keeps getting stuck on that screen. Well as you can tell I let my iPhone sit for 20 minutes and it fixed. So basically what you're going to do is go to Cydia, click on it and let it do its file system thing. So just set it aside and once you do that your device should be good to go. Alright anyways our iPod Touch is back and now that it finally finished downloading Cydia is now there and it is jailbroken. Just hit user and then hit done. If you want to be a little cool you can select hacker or developer but just realize that it's going to take more time to download the packages uh, because there's more to download. Uh, for most of us the user is good enough. So anyways once that's downloaded let it download all the packages and sources and you are good to go. This device was actually on 
6.1 I believe because I just bought it this morning. Yeah, 6.0.1. Uh, this works on all devices up to 6.1 like I said. Now my iPhone 5 is jailbroken as well. So anyways, for those of you guys having issues with this jailbreak, don't worry. Uh, like I stated in my video, it took my iPhone 15 to 20 minutes to jailbreak. But as you saw with my iPod Touch, it was uh, pretty straightforward and it was almost instant. Anyways, you can exit this now and unplug your device. That doesn't matter. You are good to go. This is an untethered jailbreak once again. So you can turn off your iPhone and turn it back on, your iPod Touch, any of that good stuff. Just keep resetting it and it's good to go. You will never need to plug it into the computer. Anyways, I hope you guys liked watching this video. Please comment, rate, subscribe. If you have any suggestions for future videos, feel free to let me know in the comments section below. Thank you.